What's up, everybody? This is Ghetto Styles. We beat the block up, and this right here is the Chop Factory. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to use Scalar 2.1 inside the MPC 2.4 software. Let's go. First thing we got to do is open up the MPC 2.4 software and we're going to get started. Okay, now that we have our MPC 2.4 software open, the first thing that we have to do is go to our plugins and then we have to open up the Akai VIP 3.0 software. If you don't have the Akai VIP 3.0 software, I'll give a link in the description. It's $100. Um, you can also get the Akai VIP 3.0 software buying uh, MIDI keyboard controllers um, like the uh, Akai Advance 49. Okay, now that I have the VIP 3.1 software opened up, we're going to pop it out so we can have a look at it. Boom, here we go. This is the Akai VIP 3.1 software. What this software does is allows you to open up all of your plugins within a single plugin. This one plugin can control every plugin inside your DAW or the MPC for that matter. Now, when it comes to the Scalar 2.1 plugin, the Scalar plugin does not open up natively inside the MPC. So you need a plugin like the Akai VIP 3.1 software in order to open it. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to Scalar. Scalar. Now that we have Scalar selected, we can go over here to this box right here and hit the pop up to open Scalar so that you can see the Scalar interface. I'm going to bring that open for you. Now that we have Scalar open, let's see what we can do with it. The first thing I like to do with Scalar is pick an artist, pick somebody random. Um, yeah, I go with the M, uh, MJ Cole. Three, we'll pick three. Now that we have an artist uh, loaded up, it's preloaded with uh, scales and chords. You can test it. preloaded uh, chords for this particular artist in the scale of C sharp Parisian now what I like to do is I like to put it on strumming and then I also like to use the scale lock which locks the scale to a keyboard so that you can't play wrong notes if you're playing notes uh, on your MIDI control keyboard <laughs> Notice if you play a wrong note or an incorrect note, it'll play the same note as the last note you played. It basically uh, will fix it so that you can never play a wrong note outside of whatever scale that you've chosen. Now that I've done that, what I'm also going to do is bind the MIDI to the MIDI control keyboard, which will lock a set of keys to the chord so I can play each chord with just one note. still locked inside that scale so if I play notes outside of the binded note it still won't let me play notes outside of that scale range so everything will be in the correct pitch and so that's how you open up Scalar inside the MPC 2.4 software if you want to buy a copy of Scalar you can get it for 50 bucks um, I'm going to leave a link in the description for this also and if you use my link, you can get 15% off. I appreciate it. 
that concludes today's video it's a real quick one just getting in and out showing you how to open up scaler inside the mpc 2.4 software go ahead and get it and see what you can do with it make some music i'm out Thank you.